now at 430, an effort to protect children, not just on Halloween, but every day. Riverside County sharing details on how they are actively monitoring registered sex offenders. KTLA Shelby Nelson joins us live from Riverside with those details. Hey, Shelby. Hey, Sam and Pedro. Yeah, it's a night so many people look forward to, right? Kids and families going door to door, filling up on candy. And this is the exact reason why this task force through the Riverside County District Attorney put this information out there just so families are aware and safe. Great work. Hey, you ready to work? They're not just any dogs. Yes. Canines Solo and Chewy are trained to help catch child predators as part of their full-time job with the Riverside County Child Exploitation Team. Both Chewy and Solo are electronic scent detection dogs. Pretty much anything that can store digital media, whether it's a cell phone, a USB, a micro SD card, external hard drives, iPads. After extensive investigation and surveillance, the Riverside County DA's task force executes a search warrant before sending in the dogs. See? Yes. So that could be something as simple as possession of child pornography to a adult wanting to meet and engage a minor in sex acts, uh, as well as distributing, manufacturing. The canines have a keen sense of smell. It's a thumb drive right there. At one point, Chewy even sniffing out my phone during a simulation. But as cute as they are, their role is instrumental in this task force. This year, the team's investigators have arrested 91 people and served 441 search warrants throughout Riverside County. And on a night like tonight, when families and kids are out trick-or-treating, investigators say they are staying hyper-vigilant, monitoring and tracking registered sex offenders to ensure they are compliant with registration requirements. There are safeguards in place, so to speak, where uh, the registered sex offenders within our county, they're not supposed to be. Um, handing out candy on Halloween. While the goal isn't to scare people, they want to make people aware. Best thing parents can do, investigators say familiarize yourself with local registries like Megan's Law, which are accessible to the public, and don't let your child go out trick-or-treating alone. In general, be involved, okay. stay engaged, monitor what your kids are doing online. Um, social media platforms are, are a big, a big thing. And in case anyone was wondering, Chewy and Solo worked really hard today. So in the spirit of Halloween, they did receive several treats because of that demonstration. That's the very latest here in Riverside. I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. They deserve it. Let's be honest. Cuties. They deserve it every day. Just saying, Shelby. Thank you so much. The